Welcome back to the Python tutorial series. I'm so glad you're here. This is the third video in the series, and today we will be writing our first program called Hello World. How exciting is that? After that, we will introduce variables and then talk about how to input data into the Hello World program. And finally, finish the video with comments and data types. Timestamps are down below. So, let's dive in to the video. In order to create our first program, we're going to need to open a code editor such as Visual Studio Code. If you don't have Visual Studio Code, you can refer back to Python Tutorial 2, the link above, to see how to download it and integrate it with Python. Once we do that, we can do a new file here, and we're going to call it hello world.py. And in Python, when naming a file, we don't have any capital letters, so we put an underscore if there's a space. That standard convention for Python. Once we create that, we're going to do print, open and close parentheses, and inside, in double or single quotes, but I prefer double quotes, I'm going to do hello world. So print is basically a function, and it has to be written this way, and the text is hello world. We're going to hit the play button, and that's going to save and run our file. And below, it's going to say, hello world. It output this to the console, or the system output. So print hello world, it outputs hello world. And there you go. That's your first program. And if you wanted to add an exclamation point, you could. And then run it again. And there you go, hello world exclamation point. Now, you can also do your name, and let's call this hello name dot py. So, like before, we're going to use the print function, but this time, we're going to say hello Jonathan, or hello whatever your name is. Then we're going to run that. And look, look at there, we have Hello Jonathan. Amazing. Now let's introduce variables. I'm going to create a new file called hello variable.py. We're going to call this variable name, and then we're going to set it equal to my name, Jonathan. And then like before, we're going to use print, but this time, we're going to do hello plus name. This is called string concatenation. Basically, we're combining two strings. And think of the variable name as basically a placeholder. This is still saying hello, Jonathan, but it's hello plus name. Then it's grabbing name from line one and inserting it with Jonathan. And we put a plus here. If we didn't have the space here and printed it, it would print hello Jonathan one word. That's why we should have a space after hello. When we run this, we get hello Jonathan. So we've been outputting things to the console. And that's great. But wouldn't it be so much better if we could interact with the console? Well, guess what? We can. I'm going to create a new file here called hello input.py. So we'll be able to input things into the console. And you see down here, it has all our outputs before. If we want to clean this up, we can just write clear at the bottom and then enter or return, and then it clears it. So, before, if you remember, we had name equals Jonathan, 
and then print hello plus name but this time we're gonna do an input so we're gonna delete Jonathan and do input and then we're gonna input what is your name name and then we're gonna run this and what happens down here in the console it asks what is your name I'm gonna put Jonathan and then enter and then it says hello Jonathan so what it's basically doing here name equals input what is your name it asks this we say my name's Jonathan so it's like a name equals Jonathan print equals hello plus name what is name name is Jonathan if we were to run this again but say my name was Mike it would say hello Mike so this is how the input function works so now we're gonna go to comments and data types and dive into what the importance this has in Python so I'm going to create a new file here called comments and data types dot py and if we were to write a comment it's just pound or hashtag this is a comment so a comment is just for the reader so when somebody is looking through the code and they're like what does this mean they'll be like oh this function does this and Python doesn't read comments for example if we were to run this after we clear the screen it would say absolutely nothing when we run this because there's no output in Python there are four main data types there are obviously more but I'm gonna do the four most simple ones they are string the abbreviation is str integer the abbreviation is int float it's just float and then boolean so a string is text an integer is a whole number a float is a decimal number Boo boolean value is either true or false zero or one like before we're gonna put name equals input what is your name and then after this we're gonna do age equals integer input what is your age So the reason we put integer for this is because whatever you type returns as a string. But outside the input brackets here, we have integer. So basically, it converts this string into an integer. For example, when we run this, what is your name? Jonathan. What is your age? Oh, when I originally created this program, I f forgot to put the colon in a space. So if I were to type, there would be no space there. In 19, it would give my age. Now let's fix this error. And then let's run it again. But this time, let's create an error. Le oh, I removed age. <laughs> Funny. But let's say, what is my age? And I put go. It's going to give me an error, a value error. Invalid literal for int. Because go is not an integer. So putting age back in there. We can now print this out. So there's two options to print this out. We're going to do hello plus name plus period space you are plus h now when we run this it's gonna give us an error
This is because the print statement, when you concatenate the string with pluses, it thinks that everything is a string and age is currently an integer. So to convert this back into a string, we put str outside this. So then it's saying, hello, I want to convert this to a string. If I were to run this again, it would work. There we go. Hello, Jonathan, you are 19. But there's two ways to do this print statement. We could also separate with commas instead of concatenating with pluses. And when we separate with commas, we do not have to put spaces and we also do not have to convert everything to a string. It does that automatically. So if we were to do this, it would still work. So let's clear the screen before we run it. And let's run this. And we get what is your name? What is your age? And it says, hello, Jonathan, you are 19. But I should have had a period and a space here, and then that would even work better. So that is a brief introduction to variables and how to concatenate it in the print statement. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow along with this video series by subscribing and hitting the notification bell or by clicking on the next video so that you can expand your knowledge about Python. And as always, I can't wait to see you next time.